so now we are going to assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to create red green orange light system and also one two three go uh, system for racing car and what we want is that we have to start the race after counting countdown and also with the uh, light system so you can definitely apply this technique to your own game so first of all we will just come to save script and we have created a bool variable here public static bool race start and then for applying this bool variable we will just uh, go to unity you can select your car and then we can open the car user control script this one and uh, then in this script we will uh, just find the fix update method in this script and uh, here in fix update you will write here if save script dot race start equal to true then we want to run this line of code so this code is already added for the cat axis horizontal and vertical etc so you can uh, use this code uh, this line of code if statement before this code and uh, that's it now we will create the main script of starting light script and uh, here i have created this starting light script but you can see this that unfortunately i made a mistake here uh, starting loot script i just has written so i will just change it to starting light so whenever you uh, make a mistake here and you want to change some uh, the namespace or uh, main class of the script then we have to rename the main script as well so we'll just go to assets scripts sorry uh, in standard assets we have vehicles car scripts and now we have created uh, the starting light script so let's rename it and i will just change the name to i and now we will just open the script again in mono uh, visual studio so now uh, we will create some uh, game objects and uh, for that game objects we have written this script so i have created a red light on orange light on and green light on game objects so we'll create these variables then we can create if you want to add count one count two count three and go then we can also add audio source if you want to add audios so i have added two audios beep sound one and beep sound two and now in start function we have run this core routine starting core routine starting light score routine and in starting light routine we will initially uh, wait for one second and then we will switch on the red light we will just make it on uh, set active then we will play the sound a uh, beep uh, sound one and then we will uh, show the count one uh, object and we will make it set active true then after one second we will again make red light here we are making it true here we are making it fast then orange light will be true one we want to play countdown one will be false and countdown two will be true and then we will wait for one second orange light will be fast green light will be active beep sound countdown two will be fast countdown three will be active then we will wait for one second more green light will be uh, uh, false and uh, save script uh, yeah this line of code we will uh, not add here so uh, here we will add beep sound 2 because it, uh, it is the last one and then we will uh, inactive the countdown 3 and we will make go dot set active will be true and then after 0.5 seconds or one second you can add it's your choice we will just get the race start bool variable and we will make it active so that our car will move these things and uh, we will also enable the uh, we will also make go uh, wording 
should be false uh, when we start the game so let's uh, move back to unity and uh, here we have to add some objects and for that purpose i just bring out some sounds and some objects as well so uh, here in the canvas first of all we will just right click here ui and i will just create another panel for this and uh, let's uh, name this panel as a starting lights panel maybe lights like this and uh, yeah that's good and now i will just focus it by f and you can see this type of panel definitely in game view we have this full hd selected which is good so i will just uh, select this scale and let's make it scale like this so in the middle it will be uh, good i think and uh, now what we want is that we want some elements inside this panel so let's create a element so let's go to canvas ui and we will just create a image and i will just name it red uh, red light and for this image we will just add the sprite for this image so i just go to sprite and i just bring these circles here and we will just select the, you can create these circles in photoshop so we will select these circles go to texture type uh, supply 2d and ui apply and now these are available right we will just add the right light here and you can see that we have a nice red light we can just make it bigger maybe something like this and uh, let's add it here and then we can duplicate it control d let's duplicate it here and this will be the orange light let's rename it to orange light and then we need green light so let's go here and uh, let's create a green light you can definitely do by your style it's uh, your choice so rename it green light and now we will also create some text for this so here uh, i will just uh, create some text so let's go to canvas ui and uh, we'll go to and we are dealing the text as a uh, object okay so uh, here i will just paste one and uh, we'll just select some font so we have nice fonts and uh, we are using good time i think for other purpose so we'll just add good time here and let's make it 68 maybe and we'll just pick it add it in the middle just make it overflow overflow and uh, now we'll just change the color to white and now you can see we have nice uh, text here uh, it is white text and uh, uh, now you can see the style of one is a little bit uh, different so we can just go back and uh, let's select some other one other style maybe so open sans is good i think so president base okay this one is good the simple one and uh, let's make it bigger so maybe like 150 and let's move it here maybe and uh, we can keep it white or whatever color you want to do uh, i think we have some options here like uh, if you want to use a text mesh pro you can add some border to it as a stroke to it uh, this text as well but uh, i will not uh, go in that detail so yeah that's fine so now this is one so let's rename it to one text duplicate it we will name rename it to two text we will again duplicate it to rename it to three 
text we'll again duplicate it to and we'll name it go text like this and for the go text we will just uh, move back into text area and we will just name it go like this for three we will just make it three two we will just make it two and that's it we have uh, successfully created our game objects for the lights and the uh, this area as well uh, the one uh, countdown so for starting light we will just select all the objects and we'll just keep it in starting line so that we uh, everything will be organized and for the starting light background we don't need any background so we'll just make it uh, if you want to use some you can do so if you want some background it's your choice but i will not use anything here and now that's it so we will just uh, add script to our uh to our game so we can add that script to our player or any other uh, object if we want so i will just add the script to our player so let's select the player and uh, we'll just uh, add a component and we will just say starting lights script and uh, definitely in this script we have light red light on we'll just add it orange light on green light on count one text count two text and uh, count three text go text beep sound one and we have to create audio source for beep sounds as well so let's go to sounds here I will just go to create empty object. I will just name it uh, sounds maybe. And uh, under this object, under this object, I will just uh, add a audio source, or, and we can just go to audio source, and we can name it beep one beep one and we will just make it inactive on play on awake and we will add the beep one audio here and i will just duplicate this again and uh, here for the beep two i will just rename it to beep and we'll just add the beep two uh, sound here and i will select the script again and uh, inside the script uh, we will just add our audio source now beep one and beep two that's great save it and now hopefully everything will work but one important thing you should know that uh, you can see that initially uh, these things are available here okay so if you want to in uh, hide these things we can just select this and we can make it inactive initially but if for example sometimes it happens in games that uh, sometimes we make some objects uh, in uh, active and uh, they will be visible in a uh, game so what we can do here inside the starting light script actually we can switch off these all objects initially in the start function if you want to do so I will not go it in detail. You can definitely add here, for example, the red light on dot set active and you can make it false initially like this. And then one by one with every object you can do so. I think we should do that and then we want to start the code routine. So let's add it uh, quickly, orange list on dot selective it is a, a better practice actually although you can make it make it set active or inactive inside uh, the game as well uh, as unity editor as well the problem so green light off on 
and then we have count one dot set active false count two dot set active false set active false a uh, go text dot set active false so that's it so now if we even uh, if uh, the things are activated inside the game or uh, initially even then if we play the game these will be inactive so uh, so let's see uh, what will happen now and uh, yeah you can see one two three go and now our controller is active yeah that's great the function is working absolutely fine and we have successfully implemented lights and uh, countdown to our game